Hello everybody, I'm Black Viper of Death and this is the weekly update um, plus a blog on uh, some several stuff. But first of all, I want to do the preview uh, like I've been doing. Uh, so first of all, Monday will be Tsukihime, Tuesday will be Rise of the Triad, um, Wednesday will be Tsukihime again. Um, Thursday will be Mag Runner, uh, and that's kind of like a Portal-esque game, but with magnets and Cthulhu. Friday will be Melty Blood, and then Saturday will be Rise of the Triad. Um, so now I want to get into the blog for portion, which I have so many things to talk about. Um, but I'll, I'll try not to ramble too much. So first of all, um, when I had talked about the stuff in Orlando, um, I thought something was going to get done. And, you know, the, you know, the filibuster that basically made uh, the proposals um, possible um, to help kind of curb the violence uh, that had occurred um, you know there were four proposals so, and of course none of them passed which really makes me upset that can't do anything we you know the politicians are catering to big guns and NRA and it's just a bunch of bullshit why we can't agree on several things like that people on suspected terrorist watch lists shouldn't be able to buy a gun I think that's a pretty you know no-brainer yes you might have some people uh, falsely on the list but it's better to be safe than sorry in my opinion um, you know second of all with the gun show loophole that I mentioned, you know, where you can buy, go into a gun show, be able to purchase gun without any sort of background check. You know, there was a proposal to basically close that. That didn't get through. Why, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's just, come on. Really? You can't do anything. You can't even talk about it. You know, it's... It, it just really frustrates me that we can't do anything. Uh, we can't agree on anything. You know, we... It's just... There's too much party politics. And there's too much corruption in government. Those are the two fucking things that keep us as Americans safe. Is just party infighting. Well, not infighting, but uh, party versus party. You know, where... Nobody can agree to anything because we can't let the other party get a point. Just come on, you know, hurry up, you know, do something. Uh, you know, talk about it, you know, we'll, we'll see how the, how the story progresses. Um, but I'm just real disappointed in our elected officials and, uh, something needs to change but that's that uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about which is kinda what happened to my channel recently uh, where you guys may have or may have not noticed that a video disappeared uh, due to a copyright strike uh, you know I do let's plays for entertainment um, I think playing video games shouldn't should be protected um, obviously I'm not reselling the game I'm not you know I'm not trying to steal your game but and, and this is what I have to say about it because uh, the company Arc System Works flagged me and so and two things here. So first of all, YouTube is a complete dick in that 
one copyright strike means you are automatically in bad standing. You can only upload 15 minutes. Uh, you can't do a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, if you've ever wanted to start a channel, you know, that's something to think about because YouTube, like one strike and you're pretty much out for the count. You know, you can't make all, you know, as much money as you could. You know, you can only limit 15 minutes, which I like to provide you guys with at least that amount. Um, I don't think any of my videos have gone under 15 minutes. Um, so I had been looking at alternatives, and in the meantime, I was looking at what else I could do. So the other things that I could do would be to file a counter notification because I believe it constitutes fair use. But the problem with that is then they could turn around and sue me personally uh, to keep the the video from going back up. And, you know, I'm just one person who hasn't really even made any money on this channel yet. Um, so I, you know, you know, they, they sue me and then I can't really do much about it. Um, I could try and find a lawyer, but then, you know, that's legal fees that I have to pay. Um, you know, and they're a huge company, um, you know, cause I wanted to show Guilty Gear Exard Revelator, um, I, I even I even portrayed it in a good light. I said that you should absolutely get the game. Now I'm saying the opposite. Don't support Arc System Works because they went after me. They went. They've probably gone after so many other people who just want to do let's plays. Um, that's not good press. You know, you're how how am I stealing uh, customers away from you? I'm showing, I'm showcasing your game, and I'm portraying it in a good light, and I'm supporting people, or I'm encouraging people to buy it, but now I'm not, and now you've shot yourself in the foot because you've lost another customer, um, because I'm not going to buy your games anymore, uh, that's just how it is, you know, you, you want to go after me, well, It'd be prepared for some backlash, I guess, you know, going after somebody with, you know, 12 subscribers at the moment. That's bullshit. I mean, do you not want free press, I guess? Do you just want, I, I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. Um, they were fortunate and they were kind enough to remove the copyright strike in, in exchange for taking down the video um, plus not showing any more Guilty Gear Exard which is fine I don't care um, but they also didn't want me to talk about it um, however I am talking about it because this is a fair use I can comment on whatever I want um, so, you know what, uh, I'm not going to be intimidated by that. This is why I'm talking about it, because I think that's bullshit. You're trying to silence me. You're, you've probably flagged so many other people. Um, I, I don't care that you retracted it. Um, that was nice of you to do it, but I had a backup prepared. Uh, you know, it was basically go on to daily motion uh, have my channel there until December when the copyright strike uh, would disappear which is a stupidly fucking long time to have your channel be in bad standing um, you know I, w I had prepared for it though so it, all of my stuff would have been on daily motion um, that'll be the case if this stupid bullshit happens again, um, because I don't, 
because YouTube's policies are a bunch of bullshit. And, you know, where's the fair use? And I know a lot of other channels have complained about it. Um, other f channels have been flagged. Um, you know, three, three strikes and you're out. I get that. Okay. But one strike and you're immediately in bad standing. You lose a bunch of features that you would normally be able to do. That's excessive. And I mean, I understand, you know, there's, you know, the copyright law does protect uh, people from stealing content, and I agree with that. However, Let's Plays of video games, I mean, video game playing in general should be protected under fair use because how I play the game is different from how you'll play the game. Um, and like I said, it's prov it's providing free press. I'm showcasing these games to get you guys interested in them. They're games that I enjoy personally. Um, I wouldn't be playing these games if I didn't like them. I, that's why I stopped playing White Knight. Because I didn't like the game, how it played. I didn't like... Uh, I mean, I liked the setting of it. I didn't like the camera angles. I didn't like the controls. It was a very uh, poor, uh, poor game in that aspect. But I wanted to give it a shot because it looked like the sort of game that I would enjoy. Unfortunately, it just kind of petered out. So I stopped playing it because it's not all that fun. I mean, the, other, the only other reason I would stop playing a game, uh, at least on my channel, is that I don't feel it's interesting enough to keep showing, like how I stopped uh, showing Overwatch, uh, Battleborn. Uh, of course, I haven't been playing Battleborn because the quality of players has really, really dropped. Um, Overwatch is still fun. I still love Overwatch, but you know, there's only so much you can show before I think it starts to get repetitive and then boring. Um, you know, I'm trying to show new content, um, stuff like that. But anyways, um, you, YouTube was being kind of a bitch. Um, luckily that got resolved quicker than I expected. Um, so right now I don't have anything on my Daily Motion channel, uh, which is also Black Viper of Death. But I will let you guys know in case that happens again where to find my new channel. Um, of course, it'll be within 15 minutes if that happens, because I can still uh, play things. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ark. Ark says, you're not even the developer of the game, okay? I could understand if Axis uh, contacted me and said, please remove this video or, you know, the copyright strike even for Axis, but. Arc System Works is the publisher. You're not even the maker of the game. It's not even yours. Whatever, you know, though, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I've had Multi Blood on here, and Multi Blood seems to be just fine. So, whatever, I'll keep playing Multi Blood on this channel. Um,. It's the same thing. I'm showing story, and it's keep, it's more story than Guilty Gear. So whatever. Um, it's it's just a bunch of bullshit. And this week has been incredibly bad for me. Um, it's getting better. Um, so I don't want you guys to worry. You know, by the time this video is out, I'm sure everything will be uh, resolved. Um, in, you know, both in my life and my channel, um, you know, just there's a lot of bad stuff that happened, um, or, you know, just a lot of negative stuff going on, um, but I just wanted to share with you guys my opinions on, you know, the gun control measures that had been 
almost a shoe in but they didn't want to do anything and then you know what happened to my channel because I feel it's important to talk about it because if you know if YouTube wants to survive and thrive they need to yes they need to protect copyright holders I get that but let's plays should be protected and they need to uh, consider this more um, more you know unfortunately everything's automated so nobody is looking at these copyright strikes so the fact that it happened to me with an automatic script basically um, nobody took the time to look over it um, you know what what the hell um, it, it just frustrates me and that's why I said Ark you've lost you've lost a customer and hopefully you lose more customers due to this video um, because you decided to go after uh, a small time person who's trying to showcase your game uh, trying to get people interested in it um, it's a game that I enjoyed um, but I can't really recommend it now can I I can't recommend people buy it because of what happened is it still a good game y yes I, it's better than Exard you know there's a lot of improvements to it but can I really recommend it based off the company well that kind of falls under the Konami category doesn't it Konami being a dick to uh, the, pre the person who made the them popular Hideo Kojima Will I be supporting Konami from now on? Probably not. Uh, Capcom has been kind of irritating me uh, with Street Fighter. And it just keeps continuing. Um, they still haven't released a an arcade mode yet. Um, so I feel... I mean, they released a game that was basically half-finished. Um, so that's kind of bull. Uh, I mean, I still like the Ace Attorney series, but Capcom is kind of one, another one of those companies that just seems to be not caring about their fan base. There's, there's a lot of these AAA companies who just are doing whatever they feel like, and that's how you lose business and it's not smart to alienate your fan base but you know whatever it is what it is um, you want to be that way that's fine you know I know uh, other youtubers uh, more popular than I have been playing a lot of indie games I don't see a lot of huge AAA titles from them and that's kind of where it seems to be going is these indie developers you give them free press they love it you know they they want people to be excited they want youtubers to play their game uh, because it gives more exposure to their game uh, AAA developers they don't they don't seem to want the free press um, you know Nintendo uh, limits what you can do with your videos uh, you know automated copyright stuff but all the money goes to them rather than to you uh, so if you want to make money on your channel you need to partner with them and give them uh, most of the money that you make or a good portion of the money you make um, Arc system work seems to not even want free press, so whatever. Um, so, 
I just don't understand that reasoning. I, I can understand it in the prospect of you don't want your game stolen, but I'm not stealing your game, I'm playing it. There's a big difference between playing a game and stealing the game. And I, I guess that's a narrow line to draw, but Let's Plays, I'm providing commentary on it. I'm telling you, uh, I mean, sometimes, granted, my, my commentary isn't all that great. Uh, and I f I'll freely admit that. Sometimes I don't know what to say um, just because I'm too busy playing the game. But I'm still providing commentary on the game. I'm s still saying, hey, this is, uh, I liked the direction that they're going. This is a really fun game. Go check it out for yourself. Um, but that's fine. You know, you don't want me to play your games anymore. Then I'm just not going to play them and I'll save my money for something else. Um, so until I figure out what to fill with the guilty year slot that I had set up. Um, it'll be Mag Runner uh, until, I mean, there is another fighting game that comes out, but it's Bandai Namco. Um, so, me, I mean, I don't know how that's going to go, but hopefully they'll, they won't flag me for providing commentary on it. I, I guess I do plan on buying it uh, because, you know, Guilty Gear is being kind of a dick. So, well, not Guilty Gear, but Arc System Works. So, um, like I said, if it happens again, uh, I'll be mo probably be moving to Daily Motion at least temporarily. Whether or not I come back to YouTube is a different matter. Um, if that happens again, but until then everything will stay on YouTube uh, It's just easier that way Because um, I don't want to be jumping back and forth and I don't want to just abandon YouTube um, Altogether because I feel like it if they got their act together um, protected the let's plays then uh, then maybe we could kind of uh, move on from there. Um, but anyways, I, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me, um, for watching my videos, uh, you know, for giving me comments on things, uh, liking the videos always helps me. Uh, hopefully you're sharing them with your friends. Uh, who also may be interested. Um, unfortunately, my channel is still kind of small after about uh, a year of basically doing Let's Plays. Although, when I first started, it was every other day um, and only playing one game at a time, and I've kind of changed that format because I realized that wasn't a great way to sustain my channel. Um, that wasn't that wasn't really smart of me to do because I could have uh, done what I'm doing now and playing all these other games that I'm, you know, playing and recording uh, to give, you know, more exposure and not really having too much of a lull in uh, the variety of kind of games that I'm playing, even though right now I'm playing, you know, or two of my videos this week are graphic novel. Um, two of my videos are Rise of the Triad. And then the other two are, I, I guess I should say, first person shooter. Uh, Mag Runner is technically a first person puzzler. Um, and Multi Blood is the, the fighter. So. Uh, I've got a couple novels, a couple uh, shooter games, a puzzler, and a fighter. So, I mean, that's pretty good, though. Um, 
But anyways, uh, I, I'll wrap this up. So thank, I just wanted to get that off my chest because that was really, really annoying and it just, it shouldn't have happened. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.